FJSA, lifting cybersecurity. Welcome to the channel. I completed TCM's practical help desk course today by Andrew Bellini, and I wanted to give a review as well as demonstrate some solutions to a few issues that I had, especially with the VI text editor. I don't know if Ubuntu has been updated since the release of the course, but I was able to find another solution that I wanted to show as well. All right. We're not going to spend too long on the website, but I wanted to go over a few components of it. So as you see right here, it is a completely free course that I believe will set you up for this position straight out of the box. Key topics. So your first about 30, 35% of the course will be watching videos on computer components, how to fix them, how to keep them safe from things like electrostatic discharge, as well as learning about binary networking and things along those lines. You'll also be installing your own virtual machines. Uh, we set up VirtualBox, and you will be installing Windows Server 2022, set it up as a domain controller, as well as Windows 11, and Linux Ubuntu. Down under system requirements, so this is where I started running into a few issues. I r run a HP Dev1, um, my base OS, because it is a Type 2 hypervisor, is Linux Pop. And as you can see, I'm running 16 gig DDR4. However, once I started running my Windows Server 22 with my Windows 11, I had to go into my settings and pull back some of the RAM that I had allotted both of them because it started eating up a lot and it did crash a few times. So who should take this course? Even with my amount of education, being able to talk confidently about ports, TCP, three-way handshakes, Kerberos, certificates, how they work, I was lacking in the technical department. So actually being able to get hands on and do a lot of this stuff, setting up and I actually had to figure out why my Windows 11 and Ubuntu machines would not talk to each other. This gave me a lot of knowledge that actually pertains to going hands on within a machine and actually understand how to fix or where to find these items. That is enormous when it comes to getting a role in cybersecurity or in the tech industry at all. It's really about your technical skills. You do need to have a solid understanding of the basics and how things communicate and what they do. But if you don't have the technical skills, you're not going to be able to complete your jobs and your tasks. So we'll talk in a little bit about the actual certification for this course, but I wanted to talk some about note taking. Now, this is not something that I've been great with throughout my entire educational career, but it was really important that you take very, very detailed notes. So you see here, this is my intro to networking notes. And I do have my bachelor's in cybersecurity, so this is not new to me. However, even if these subjects are not new, I still think that you should st take down as many notes as possible because it does reinforce the knowledge that you already had. And then even if you don't think that you need to watch the videos, you really should. So for example, CIDR notation is something that I either straight up didn't learn or I wasn't paying attention to during the course. So cider notation is one thing that I was able to take away amongst others. And taking these notes will help you during the actual certification exam if that's the course that you wanna go. All right, so one of the issues that I had while I was taking this course was trying to use the VI text editor. So going to set up Peppermint, you have to use a text editor in order to set up your Docker solution. So LS, 
we will CD into Peppermint. Alas, so there's my Docker Compose. And you can see it's here right now. However, if I try to do anything with it, I can't. And it just, it doesn't do what it's supposed to be doing. I can't go in insert mode or anything. So I used Jita instead. So CD Peppermint LS. There's my Docker. So G E D I T Docker Compose YAML. And it'll bring it up in an actual text editor box. This was a lot easier for me to use and actually work correctly. So if you have problems using the VI text editor, just use that. And then also we can sudo docker compose up. And we will bring up peppermint. Let it run through everything. Now you'll be setting this up on your local host. So HTTP localhost 3000. Come here to admin uh, admin one two three four. Oh, admin at admin .com, That's right. Sign in. Sure, whatever. Save it. And right here is where you're going to be messing around with your actual ticketing solution. So if I go to issues, you can see the ones that I did during the course. I only did two. Um, it's pretty easy to understand. And I find it works pretty well, especially for an open source solution. All right, so another issue that I had was during the portion of the course trying to SSH into my Ubuntu from my Windows box was they were not on the same network. And they're actually not currently. So I'll show you how to fix that. So if I'm in here and I go to ifconfig, there's my IP address and subnet mask. If I come in over here and IP, config you see here that I'm on a 10 dot over here so our solution to fix that is you're gonna go to network connections it's right there right click go to properties I have to wait for the box to put in my administrator and password because I'm not in my admin account. All right, and then you can open up your TCP IP, IPv4, your properties, it will normally be set on obtain an address automatically. However, if you're having problems, you can come in here and use the following IP address and put in your IP address, one that matches whatever your Ubuntu is showing. And then of course you just gotta change the final byte for the host. Make sure that your subnet mask and your gateways are correct. I'm not going to change these because I have them set up right now to be connected to my uh, Windows 2022 server. But that's how I was able to fix that problem when I came up to it. So once you complete the course, you'll get this pretty little certificate showing that you completed it and that you are ready to move on to the certification. So here we have the actual certification and it is pretty new. You can see here they have their introductory price at $149. I'm not going to end up taking this exam because my current certifications already far surpass what this could help me with in my career. So I'm actually gonna save that money and move on to the PJPT, 
However, if this is one of your first certifications, I would highly recommend taking it. TCM Security has made a big name for themselves, just as Hack the Box and Try Hack Me have, and the fact that their exams are practical. So as recruiters start understanding more about their certifications and that they more directly relate to stepping into a position than other certifications such as CompTIA's who are multiple choice for the most part, I definitely think that this is a better option than say CompTIA A+. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment. I would love to hear what you think about the certification, especially if you ended up taking it. And also you can go and connect with me on LinkedIn as well. I try and stay pretty active, so let me know.